Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends out of Breath of the Wild. Now that we're in Hyrule Castle, can't go any further this way. But we read Zelda's journal, which went along with a lot of our memories that we've had. But anyway, we can't continue this way, so I guess we're going to have to go elsewhere for now. I really thought we could get further from here, but I guess not. So instead now, uh, we're going to have to figure out a different direction to go in. Which means I guess we should go down and around. Oh, hello you. I need to quickly get Fury. And now let's do the rest of the damage as quickly as possible. Oh, it broke. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, 68. Some of these weapons have a lot of power in them. Although it's a shame having my weapons break so much, considering how many times I've had to throw away weapons. Okay. Let's keep going along this path. Careful not to be seen by anything. Another ruined guardian. Do some damage before it even has a chance to do anything. And there we go. Okay, ancient gears at 30 now. This is definitely a good way to grind ancient parts. But unfortunately, it means I'm losing weapons that are really good. Let's keep going through here. A lot of dead trees. Oh, and hello, Blood Moon. That can't really do anything to us. Um, got to take you out. Oh my goodness. With the Lionel Bow, it shoots three, so... That's cool. Not really necessary against... Uh, ruined Guardian, but it's on a wall, so I didn't know what else to do. I'm gonna switch off with that arrow so I don't waste any of those. Okay, back down. Let's see what we can find down here. Master Sword's power has been restored, so now that's back. And hello, Malice. Let's get through here if we can. Oh, hello. We're now in the library of the castle. Which is actually a very good spot to be in right now. I'm quite happy with this. We need to explore this area a little bit more. And actually, let's use Magnesis to move some of these bookshelves out of the way. To find a secret room back here, the King's Study. Royal Guard's shield. Pretty good. This shield was forged using ancient Sheikah technology. It boasts extremely high stopping power, but its structural weakness made its low durability impractical for combat. But that's okay because it's good for guardians. Either way, any shield's good for guardians. Uh, let's drop this current shield that we have equipped. I need more space, definitely. The writings of Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. Today, as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter too joined this sweet world. In keeping with the traditions of the royal family, I have decided to name her Zelda. I am not a man accustomed to uh, frivolous musings, but now seems as good a time as any to begin my royal memoriam random. Reports keep arriving regarding the excavations. Uh, of relics. The fortune teller's predictions seem to be coming true. What fortune teller? Calamity Ganon was not a figure of fable, or even of legend. He actually existed in our great land of Hyrule. We must investigate all the relics, learn as much as we can, but understanding the divine beast alone will take time. 
Zelda's eyes lit up like a wildfire when I told her about the relics. I must admit, she has a knack for research. My queen has left this world. Her death was so sudden and unexpected, I awaken most nights unsure if she's re she is really gone. Zelda never cried, never faltered, not even during the royal funeral or later, when she, fa she and I were alone with our grief. I must assume her strength is a result of her of us repeatedly informing her of her duty to be a valiant and steady princess. For a child of merely six years of age, her conduct was truly that of a born leader. Her strength gives up me hope. From now on, I must raise her all alone. Now, only I remain to prepare her for her difficult future as a princess of Hyrule. Zelda finally reported back after her visit to the fountain. It seems her sacred sealing power has still yet to awaken. It has been a year and three months since her mother passed. Perhaps she is held back by heartache too deep to heal. If the Ganon prophecy wasn't looming over our heads, I would tell her to take her time, to wait until she is ready. But our situation is dire, and leaves no room for weakness. Even on behalf of my beloved daughter, my heart breaks for Zelda, but I must act as a king, not a father. I must order her to train relentlessly at the fountain. I was told Zelda went off to research ancient technology, so I had no choice but to confront her about it. She claims she was simply using her day off from training to indulge in a bit of research, but still I scolded her. She won't get th it through her head, forcing me to tell her the same thing I have been repeating ad nauseam. The reason her sacred powers still won't awaken is because she's spending all her efforts playing at being a scholar. In truth, I understand Zelda's feelings, painfully so. She lost her mother, her teacher, before she could learn from her. Ten pointless years of self-training without so much as a book or note to help her find her way. Those in the castle talk behind her back, and I, her only family, scold her for, for her shortcomings. No wonder she wish, wishes to hide away in her beloved relic research. I'd love uh, nothing more to console her, but I must stay strong. She must fulfill her duty, just as we all must, even if she comes to, de comes to despise me. I have been told my, my Zelda went to the Spring of Wisdom. This will likely be her last chance. If she is unable to awaken her power at Lonairu, all hope is truly lost. If she comes back without success, then I shall speak kindly with her. Scolding is pointless now. I forced ten years of training on her, and after all that, it seems her powers will stubbornly awaken some other way. Perhaps I should encourage her to keep her researching her beloved relics. They may just lead her to the to answers I can't provide. For now I sit, sit anxiously, more a father than a king. In this moment I sit and wait, await my daughter's return. And that's a shame, isn't it? Because that's when the calamity hit. Gold rupee as well. Now, there are a few books in this library that will be of interest to us at some point. Probably not now though. There is something of a lot more importance I want to take care of right away. So, let's keep at it. For now. So I believe if I get out Magnesis again, there's another bookshelf I can move out of the way. And there's a secret tunnel back here that I want to go through. This is very important. Because down here, we have the docks. Which is a fairly big area. But of more important value than that, there is this fire pit thing here. 
I don't have a fire weapon anymore. I think I still have fires though, so let's light this on fire. Because... There's a shrine in Hyrule Castle. This is very important to pick up because this means you can teleport uh, to this point in the castle without having to redo the first half. So it's well worth getting now and doing it. Ow, fire burning. Let's check this out. We could also have gone in through the docks to start off instead of going from the front. Which means we could have got, gotten this shrine straight away as well. But for now, let's take out this this small guardian. Who's got weapons for us? That's an advantage. Ow. Take this. Ow. That barely hurt. I still have to say ow whenever I get hit though. That's the rules of playing video games. If you get hit, you have to say ow. Lots of damage. And slam. Except my weapon is now badly damaged. Ah, the pain. It doesn't hurt. Again. Okay, you're finished now. Except this is broken. Cool. Let's switch to a less strong weapon. This is probably a bad idea. Oh well. <laughs> this is a very bad idea. Go, 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 go! No, it broke! That's fine. Let's grab its weapons. And its parts, because those are also useful. I might even be able to upgrade my my guardian armor. Although this armor that I currently wear wearing is just so good enough <laughs> that I don't even need to worry about any other armor ever again. So flame blade, a lot more weapons now. How's our space in our inventory going? We still have an entire row plus one of space. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go down to the docks and take a look at that, so... You can see... That you can get actually get in. Oh, I can't actually see from here though. There's also another flame blade over here that I want to go get since weapons are useful. Particularly now. Ow! Ow! Oh my goodness, you shot your own friend. Yeah, so let me go over here and we can see the back entrance that leads out into the rest of Hyrule. We did hear from somebody, I believe, that there is a back entrance. Oh, darn, 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 darn. Take this, except I'm not going to have it explode because it's not going to hit anything. Oh, well. Also, I believe there may or may not be Koroks in here somewhere. All the way down here. Oh, bomb arrow, cool. I just found a bomb arrow. I exploded it out of, out of a box and somehow didn't have it explode. Oh, very nice. I mean, it didn't kill him, but, you know, it did a good amount of damage. Acorn. More bomb arrow. Maybe there isn't any Koroks down here. 
maybe I'm just not actually seeing where they are. If they are there, I can see them with this, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any to worry about. Let's keep going then. Head back upstairs to actually work to the place where we're actually meant to be. But yeah, we can now teleport to this point inside Hyrule Castle without having to walk into Hyrule Castle as well. Since we also had to go through Castle Town to get into the castle as well. Just have to go up these stairs and move the thing out of the way every time. Which I mean is not that hard compared to the other way of getting in. There are a lot of things in here that you need, that you can probably light up, but I don't think any of them have Koroks for you, maybe? Oh, is this a Korok? No, that's just a door to help you get across. Now, which way am I supposed to be going is the other question that I have right now. Uh, how did I get in here? Did I come from across? I think I probably did, so this, this way is actually the correct way to go, except it's blocked off mostly. Hang on, is this actually where I came from? Let's see, it might be. If I am going around in circles, then I, I can go back now. Yeah, this looks like where I came from. Yep, definitely. Let's head back down. Okay, so across in this room is where we need to be. Let me just jump down here and check if there's another secret that I can find. Is this the... No, this is something else entirely. Oh, wow. There's the pillar in the secret room back here. I mean, that's cool, but also, oh my goodness. Being in this room as the pillars were rising would have been absolutely terrible for anyone in here. Oh, and there's a stone smasher in here. That's good. More weapons is appreciated. There's also malice over that door, so we can't go through there. Treasure chest. With a silver rupee. And I think I might be in a bit of trouble. Because that malice door is... Possibly where I need to go? Or can I go up? I think I can go up. Right? Yeah, definitely. I just need to figure out how to get over there. I can just go through the malice, I think. Hopefully. Go, go faster. There we go. It's supposed to actually go across the top level on this side to get up here, but, you know, my way works too. So. Great uh, frost blade up here. To add to our collection of weapons that is growing again. So it does have its pluses and minuses going into Hyrule Castle with not many weapon slots because you get handed a lot of weapons and you have to make the most of every single one you get so oh have I not seen this b bow before steel Lizal Lizal bow this bow is wielded by Lizalfos who are expert marksmen the metal that reinforces much of the weapon Adds some additional weight, but offers a uh, heightened durability. Okay. Gotta take a picture of that and move on. Okay, I can see that enemies behind this a bit here. Take you out. You get the idea of time passing, or like a clock ticking with this music.
the rhythm of it is just... Oh my goodness, look at these weapons. So many weapons, and I'm quite happy with that. Oh my goodness, he set himself on fire. Guiding Spear broke, that's okay. I have weapons to replace it, luckily. And even more weapons that are on the ground here that I want to grab. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if we blow up all of this and get into there, maybe. How is that not breaking? Uh, maybe I was wrong. I was hoping that this was a Korok here, but it doesn't seem like it would be. Let's grab all the arrows and fruit that we dropped on the ground. It's a good thing it's giving us this much food, because it means we can survive a little bit more. Oh my goodness, this is good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay, we've filled up our slots now. That's very good. Oh, there's even more. The shields are also good because you can have, any, I've already mentioned, you can have any type of shield and have it still work against Guardians. I don't think it, I think depending on the shield's strength, it also does more damage to it, so I guess that is a little bit of a factor into it, so if you don't want to try and re repel its blast back at it, you have to have a stronger shield. Because if it's weaker, it means you have to do it, repel its blasts more. Anyway. Let's keep going through these holes. Let's actually blow this up. Uh, this has a weapon. Actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, if we take this weapon... Hang on. If we take it... No? Am I crazy? I feel like if you take his weapon, it's supposed to... Oh no, there's just a Korok up there. Okay. Well, I can deal with that. To add to my collection of Koroks. How many seeds do I currently have? 74. Oh, that's not going to go very far when I actually go to upgrade my slots, though. Unfortunately. But that is how it is, so... Some more weapons in here, and a Royal Guard Sword. A Shikara made replica of the sword that seals the darkness. It was made with ancient technology to oppose the Great Calamity, but do it, it, but its low durability made it inefficient. But yeah, that's a very good weapon, I suppose. Let me probably drop this Lizel Spear. How are we going with weapons? Our weapons is looking pretty good now. There's also this other hole I can go into over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Very good. No more space. Let's go this way. And this way is actually a fairly sizable area. With the food hole, or the dining hole. Whatever, it's the same thing. Ow. I mean, it didn't take any damage, but ow. Take that. Okay. This loose our boomerang's about to break, so I'm gonna throw that away. And I guess I can take this silver scale spear. A lot of. A lot of things that we've seen a lot in, like, like... Oh, hang on. Start again. A lot of different weapons from all across the world are here. And it's very cool to see that. Raw whole bird. Apparently I haven't seen this before. This prize meat can be obtained from certain birds. It gets full points for flavor, nutrition, and volume. It pairs perfectly with other nutrients, uh, other ingredients, or can be enjoyed alone. I can, I, I can read. Good, goodly, sometimes. More hearty food as well, which is also really good, as we've already seen while we've been in here. Oh my goodness, don't poke me from behind. Ow. Ow. 
Oh, I might need to use something stronger than this. Stop. Do that, please. Oh, Rock on me meet right here. Ow. Ow. It's a good thing they give you lots of food in this room. There's also a cooking pot here, which is good. So we can cook up some good stuff as well. Okay, take that. And I might actually get rid of this silver scale speed because it's not a lot of damage. Take the stone smasher. Um, let's cook, I guess. How many meals? I'm on the second page, so I've got plenty of space for more meals. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, we've dipped our toes and probably a whole foot into this Hyrule Castle now. There's still a lot of Koroks to find, obviously. And we're progressing fairly well to the end of this place. But we've still got a ways to go before we actually get to the end. And beat the game. But we will be doing that fairly soon, I believe. These full recoveries are so good now that we have so many hearts. Even with full defense, it's still worth having them. I'm surprised I didn't use that many throughout my playthrough. Okay, we're on the third page now, so we should be running out of space soon-ish. Oh, please cook properly. <laughs> don't miss. I don't know how you can miss cooking, but apparently you can. Okay. Just a little bit more. I really want to max out my food at the moment. Just because I was going through it fairly quickly. Because of the guardians. Okay, that's looking fairly good now. Uh, it could use a little bit more. Just so we get onto another page. So we have two full pages of full recoveries. And I'm probably going to eat one as well, straight away, so I can heal. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to collect the rest of these, and then I might go out to this door over here to see where we are on the castle now. Because we're kind of fairly high up now. Oh, and actually, this is where we need to go. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to do that yet. So, that way leads up higher up in the castle. Uh, but I think there's also possibly a Korok around here. I don't know if I want to care about that too much at the moment. I don't know where it would be if it is actually here. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm okay with that. Let me go back in real quick and let's check down the hole a little bit more. I'm. Did I come from through the hole? Where am I? On the map there. No, I didn't come through the hole. So, let's go down this way. It's not where we need to be. But it is a way we can explore. A little bit more. Get rid of that. Set you on fire and maybe take you out as well. Okay. Don't have space for his... Dragon Bone Club. And I think this is on the other side of the start, maybe? Hang on, where would the start be? Trying to look at the outside area, which is transparent, so I can't really see very well. Um, it might be. Actually, yes, it is. Because that's the, that room over there is the 
Oh, actually, it's weird. <laughs> actually, it's weird. Because we can see that room that we checked for weapons and fighting all the silver stuff in just ahead of us. And going down from this point would be the outside at the front, so... But, yeah. There's also another area from there that we didn't go down, apparently. That we still can't, I don't think. Observation room. So this is a very important place for royalty. I uh, don't have a roof for that, that's fine. I might grab its monster parts, because monster parts will still be useful, probably. As long as stuff requests it. Oh, hello, Thunderblade. Don't have space for you, but it's interesting that you're there. Take care of that. So I can go out. And this is actually where the the Korok is. That I was thinking about before. I can even hear it. Three ancient arrows. Oh my goodness, how many ancient arrows do I have now? Eight. And they're expensive. Fury is ready. Okay, so from here, without being shot by the the Guardian. Oh, there. I see it. I see it, and I'm going to shoot it. With my falcon bow, probably. Just missing every single time. There we go. No, it just disappeared. Cool. Great. I have to be on that spot and not get killed by the guardians. Uh, do I have anything with... I think this one. Right? Yeah, that one definitely for sure. Don't shoot me. There we go, got it. Cool. Now there's only a hundred Korok Seeds left in Central Hyrule. Okay, I'm gonna probably head out this way. So I think that's everything down this hallway now. So now we can actually go up from the dining hall. Which is bringing us very close to the end now. Very close. There's still some areas in the in inside of the castle that we need to explore. Especially because there's a special item inside the of Hyrule Castle that I'd like to get at some point. But anyway, let's go up this way. Okay. It's also being very cool with the um, the Divine Beasts aiming their thing not too far away from here. So we can get rid of this Eye of Malice which will open up the path that we had before from the gatehouse. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And now, if we look over this way, we can see the gate another gatehouse and some guardians shooting, ready to shoot at me. So I'm going to hide over a little bit further away maybe. Well, I, though I might actually have to take them out, so let me... Equip some ancient arrows. And dodge this blast. Okay. There's that one. And that one I should probably also get the ancient parts. But also, the top of the castle is not that far away from here. So we're getting very close to the end now. We could also just skip over the skate house, but of course I want to do it. So, we will be doing that, and we'll also be doing that next time. So, I'm going to grab the other parts that I missed, and then that will be it for now. Get it up, Link. Get it up there. Okay, that's all that. And that is it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.